Delicious. Good morning, Tom Spellman here with Dave Wilson Nursery. It's a mid-August Wednesday morning. We're here at Zager Genetics in Modesto, California. We're gonna do a little walkthrough this morning with the Zager crew and look at some new varieties that are pending and in, in, in development and uh, we're gonna try some samples. For me, it's kind of a bittersweet day. I love my opportunity to go through the Zager blocks here and, and work with the Zager family. Um, Mr. Floyd Zager, the, the patriarch of, of Zager Genetics, passed away at 94 years old uh, about a month ago, and that greatly saddens me. Uh, however, his accomplishments will live on forever. Floyd Zager and his family have changed the way that the world looks at fruit. I can't be more thankful than to be able to be in, involved with this group of uh, fruit developers. They're just wonderful people. And, and the varieties that they've introduced over the years have been phenomenal, both fruit varieties and nut varieties. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the tour today. We'll get, to, we'll get to talk to some people that are real fruit experts, and we'll get to look at some really cool varieties. So um, let's head out to the field and uh, taste some fruit. <laughs> Good morning, I'm here with Bill Reed of Dave Wilson Nursery and Bill is our president. Bill, what, what have you found this morning that you really like? Well, I think this nectarine we just tried was a really, really Isn't good that great. It's a beautiful color. Yeah. I really like the uh, confirmation, I like the taste, it's, it's a nice blend of the acidity and the sweetness. So it's a good one. Uh, so um, your, uh, your uh, opinion of what's going on at Dave Wilson Nursery, are you happy with everything? Really happy. I think. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure that you know, you're the man we got to keep happy. So, no, I think it's going really good. I think uh, you know the team's responded to all the challenges we've been faced with. And I think that everybody's really pulling and, and uh, trying to make sure that Dave Wilson's successful. And I'm, I'm really enthused with the team effort that everybody's putting forth to, to make us successful. It's been great. Well, we appreciate all your effort and leadership. Thank, Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. All right, everybody got their samples. This month. This year, several of my almonds are full of bread mold. This is Stacy Anderson, and Stacy is one of our Dave Wilson Nursery commercial reps. She concentrates more on out of California sales. So, uh, Stacy, what are you looking for today? So, for my growers out of state, I'm looking for special uh, characteristics that would go in their climates. Um, we're looking for color and, and most of all productivity, but I'm looking at chill hours to see if possibly um, that particular peach or nectarine will go into that climate. So so yeah, you're working in a very diverse climate range, you know, from the yes. cold high chill Colorado to the to the hot southern humidity and, and you know you need to look at varieties that are adaptable to all different elements of, of climate change. That's correct, yes, yeah. And fortunately I'm at the best uh, breeding program in the world here. I mean there are so many selections to choose from throughout the year of May through really October um, that it's it makes my job difficult but at the same time it's nice to have those all these varieties to choose from and try out in different parts of this United States absolutely you know this is just it's so wonderful to have the opportunity to come out here and and sample all these trial varieties and you know I mean what we're looking at today this is the future of fruit these, these are some yes. of the next varieties that are going to be important to the fruit growing industry not only uh, commercial growers but you know home orchardists as well so what a great opportunity we it, have. it sure is and the flavors are unbeatable yeah absolutely <laughs> thank you Stacy it's welcome. always a pleasure to see you. this is Eric wool he is the head of research and development with the uh, family tree farm one of the very large commercial growers here in the San Joaquin Valley so Eric's here today looking for new varieties every time every time and, and how often do you make the, the Zager Wednesday tours there. I haven't missed one since 2007. <laughs> I, every time I'm here, you're here. Yeah. So, yeah. Good to see you again. Yeah, always a pleasure. So, um, 
What did you see today that you like? Well, I'm in search of some white flesh nectarines. It okay. seems like the month of August is a little bit challenging to get colors. We do have a supply of white flesh, but I think that's where the great stream of improvement can be made. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for sub-acid, balanced, uh, you know, leaning toward acid, the acidic acid. side? Low acid, yeah. Yes, sir. That seems to be the preference for the for white nectarines. If it has acid, it's confusing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Eric. It's always a pleasure My to pleasure. see you. Good to see you. This is Harbir Singh. Harbir is one of our commercial sales reps in the northern end of the San Joaquin Valley selling fruit trees and nut trees. What we're looking at here is a, an interspecific apricot, about 24 bricks on, on the sugar level. Yeah. This is the middle of August, here, and what a delicious already. piece yeah. of fruit this like is. What do you think, Harvey? Yeah. I mean, no, no, it's a really good piece of fruit. It doesn't have any pit burn. It's, it's not really high in nice bricks. And clean. Yeah, it's really nice and clean, and really high bricks on this. And it's self-pollinating, too. Self-pollinating. Yeah. I think this got some real potential. This it does is a really nice variety. It does. Thank you, Harbir. It's always great to see you. Same here. Thank you. <laughs> this is Jeremy Fromm. Jeremy is one of our commercial sales reps in the central San Joaquin Valley and he's also here today with us looking at, at new uh, developing fruit varieties. What's, uh, what's your niche, Jeremy? What are you looking for today? You know, mostly the growers in my area that have fruit are a lot of farmers market guys and so I'm out here looking for fruit that tastes good and is visually appealing so they can Tastes good. Fly off the shelves in their fruit stands. I love that. Yeah, and, and you know, Jeremy's market is not so much uh, big, large commercial packers, but people that will, will pick in the afternoon and sell in the morning, or pick in the morning and sell that afternoon. So always looking for concentrating on, on beautiful color, size, and flavor. This is Dale McKaylee. He is um, one of our commercial sales reps with the uh, almonds and fruit in the San Joaquin Valley. Dale works more in the southern section of the valley, and Dale's also in charge of our Dave Wilson experimental orchard uh, at our Reedley facility. Yeah, so that's correct. I think that's a great opportunity. What, what's going on there, Dale? Well, we're, we're bringing material from Zegger Genetics down there on a, on a weekly basis when we can bud in the mm -hmm. spring, and we're probably averaging a rollover about 200 to 250 no. new varieties a year take out I only got one about break. that number bring in about that much here. more um, and we're running about 1360 test trees there different varieties right now that we're evaluating on a weekly basis twice a week we evaluate there once a week up here so it's a pretty much a full-time job just in evaluation absolutely that's a huge project and uh, you know people just don't realize how long it really right, takes to, to develop a, a variety and get it into market and how much effort really goes into that. So, Dale, I can't yeah. tell you how much, you know, we all appreciate your effort. Yeah, it's Thank a, you. it's a big deal. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks, Dale. Yep. This is Eric Westendorf. He is our CFO at Dave Wilson Nursery. So, he's a bean counter, or I guess a fruit counter. <laughs> And um, everybody at Dave Wilson Nursery loves fruit, so that's why Eric's out here today looking at varieties. So from your perspective, Eric, what did you really like today? You know, I had an apricot today that I had to grab as much as I could out there. Super sweet, super exciting. Uh, you know, I love coming out here and really getting to taste what we're looking to, to sell. Exactly. And I, I don't know if you know how important that is to have an apricot variety that was that size, self-fruitful, that flavor, that high in sugar content that's ripe in the middle of August. That's yeah, a special, that's special piece of fruit. Very special and very happy that we had the chance to, to see these varieties. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, thanks for being here today, Eric. Uh, appreciate all you do at Dave Wilson Nursery. and. Um, Let's have a great fall. Thank you. I agree. This is Rob Alamo. He's one of our commercial sales reps at Dave Wilson Nursery. 
And Rob, I think you probably sell more almonds than mostly than almonds. Fruit. But um, what what are you looking for today? What you like today? Um, just just to try to get an overall of what's in the market, what's coming in. Um, you know that we had a really good apium this earlier today for this time of year. Delicious. Um, that's pretty exciting. Uh, I've got a few farmers market guys that I just try to keep them abreast of what the latest is coming out. We always got holes to fill. Yeah. Um, and then later on, we will be looking at some new self fertile almonds that we're going to be, you know, we're looking hopefully coming down the pipeline soon. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's as exciting as anything. Some of those new almond varieties are looking pretty special. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Rob. You bet. So it's been another wonderful morning for me here at Zager Genetics in Modesto, California. We looked at some fine, fine fruit today. We looked at a really nice aprium. Uh, we looked at a couple of nice white peaches, a uh, white nectarine, a couple of cherry plums. So we looked at about 30 varieties today and I think there are four or five that I'm enthused by. So we'll, uh, we'll get those into a, a future development block and see if we can't get something to release in a few years. Always a pleasure for me to be here. I, I thank the Zager family and uh, I love my job. I can't say enough good things about Dave Wilson Nursery and, and all the opportunities that it's provided me. So my friends from the fruit eating world, have fun, eat good fruit, stay safe and healthy.